choose a rare card from 99 gold or get a common relic for free. Now, a rare card could be a multitude of things, and I'll tell you what, rare cards are a little bit better now, because we have Wraith Form, which is nerfed. Still pretty decent for elites. Malaise. Creme de la creme. After Image. Probably one of the best cards in the game. Get Storm of Steel. Awkward, but decent damage. We've got Phantasmal Killer. I would feel bad about that one. We got Doppelganger. Eh. We've got Alchemize. Very solid. Class S for Act 1 and Act 2. We've got. Uh, what else we got? Corpse Explosion. Eh, not bad. Got Glass Knife. How's I'm how's upgrading Malaise? Uh, not creme. The up, Malaise is creme de la creme. Yeah, even if I have Malaise on Act One, here's the thing about Malaise. I play it for zero, it exhausts itself. But Malaise scales up insanely well. So, first off, for Hexagos, Malaise is amazing. And then for Act Two and Act Three, Malaise gets better and better. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not looking for Act One. I'm not worried about Act One. Malaise is creme de la creme as a card for sure. And then Alchemize is not unplayable garbage. Alchemize is fantastic. You must be trolling. Alchemize is not unplayable garbage. You must be trolling. I mean, potion, like, having the ability to be, like, liberal with potions on the silent, whether you can get front-loaded damage, whether it be with, like, fire pots or, or, like, really strong effects like block pots or just dexterity or whatever, or even strength pots or steroid pots. Or just, I mean, there's so many, there's so much flexibility with having potions that, yeah, Alchemize is fantastic. I know Jorbs doesn't agree with you. Don't, don't tell me Jorbs thinks Alchemize is unplayable garbage, right? So we could take... We could take uh, the the curse and go for the shop. Uh, there's no immediate shop. That's the only problem. But if there was, okay, I'm going to take it. And this is this is going to be a risk. Yeah, Dada has a great choice. What'd you do, Arrow? The average outcome is not positive. I mean, I, I think we understand the silent differently because for the silent, there's often times where you could afford to play a free alchemize, and if you can't, you can't, whatever. But it, on the worst, it exhausts itself. But the average outcome is positive because you're getting. I, I would say the average outcome is positive with uh, with alchemize. The fact that you're getting a potion is, for me, 100% positive. But we could agree to disagree, my friend. Yeah, like the average potion is not weak at all. Like having a po, uh, having on like, on average a potion per battle, it's not weak. I, I don't even care about the cost. The cost the cost of alchemy is not an issue. I guess I just see it differently. Please give me removal. Alright, give me removal on the next one. Is it worth the attack? Uh, maybe. What's up, JP? Yeah, yeah, like, the fact that, okay, potions, they transcend fights. We got another double die, die, die versus backflip. That's crazy. I mean, double die, die, die is kind of tempting. It's kind of tempting. I like the backflip, but it's kind of tempting. So I've won runs where I have three energy, but Alchemize is giving me so much value that, like, 
I, I understand the value of potions. Especially on the silent where certain things are hard to come by. Certain things are hard to come by. Like for instance, I could do like a fire pot here and feel okay about that because Alchemist can give you something more value later. Now I don't know if I want to do Dada uh, Skewer now because I do have two Dada Dyes in the deck. Did I already use one? I did. Um, I don't want to take damage, but I guess taking two damage is okay. But the longer I prolong this fight, the more I have a chance of getting... Um... This brings me down 27, which is not the greatest. But if we draw into Dada Dye again, we could be... Uh, this is fine. It's fine. It's not the best split, but... Mm, that was a mistake. Shit. <laughs> that was a mistake. So we're going to have to do a draw pot here. Mmm. I kills that guy. But we can do something better. So we can, um... I don't want to use both potions, so how about this? Mm, kind of made a mistake. That was not bad. Mm. If I kill that guy, I take 9 damage, right? Now, if I block for 13, I take 8 damage only. That's fine. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna go put on record that I, I made a mistake by uh, playing that skewer, but it's okay. Yeah, I could have used the fire pot. It was probably would have been easier. Like I would have saved more life, but I think the fire pot would be better for an elite. Oh, by the way, I didn't see if this was gonna be lethal, so I just fucked up. Cause now I'm taking even more damage. Uh, that was a mistake. It's okay. I'm distracted. Despite these mistakes, we'll persevere. Okay. Despite these mistakes, we'll persevere. It's all good, fam. Yeah, I would have killed it, but I was trying to save Firepot, which, you know, in retrospect, was not the smartest. I'm trying to... So this is where I want Dada to die, and of course we don't get it. Feels bad. Feels bad. So I can go ahead and just full defend, unless attacking would do save me life. I don't think it will, so I'm going to go ahead and full defend. I'm going to use Fear Pot and Firepot on the Elite, and I think, as far as Hexagos is concerned, well, I'm a little bit worried about our damage. Hook could help our damage out, get a little bit more extra damage, and that, that's not bad. I'm hoping that this is like a removal. Yes, it is. Okay, now we can fight the elite and feel okay about it. And I like this because, like, I could use fire pot, but I also have vulnerable, so like, there's a chance that I could just kill him. You know, this is fine. I'll, I'll, be, I'll get to the hexagos with 24 HP. As long as we can get like a decent relic or card here. Or is fine, I guess. Infinite blades, so there's alchemize. We just talked about alchemize. So alchemize is a one-time thing in the boss battle. In a boss battle is not good, but in the act two it's good. But in a boss battle, I would rather get infinite blades, because that's just more consistent damage. But uh, I could take the alchemize because that could give me like a strength pot or a dexterity pot to make the fight really easy. I mean, that's, that's, that's a high variance, right? But I think Alchemist is a really decent card. Of course, Soju negates it. But Infinite Blades, I feel like, will give me the consistent damage I need to kill the Hexagos. But we do have Heal Hook and Skewer, so I'm going to take the Alchemist. And we're going to go ahead and try to maximize our damage. Or maybe... Well, the block is not as good with Orichalcum. So, if we're going for damage, Heal Hook is a good way to get damage. That I didn't want to actually upgrade it, but I pressed it, and now it's too late. And now it's too late. Oh well. We do have uh Dada Dai get it out of the cycle. We need to get the weakened so we can get the heel hook going. Heel hook's 
So that's Strength Pot. See, that, see that's, that's, that's perfectly fine for me. Um, it sucks that we got these burns, but I think that Strength Pot's going to be pretty decent. Skewer. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a tough battle. I think with Noxious Streams and the Strength Pot, we should be fine. Mm, it's going to be very tough. It's going to be very close. Very close. Uh, might be. I might actually just die. If I get a nice little attack here, I can kill him with Fire Pot. I didn't have to waste Fire Pot because I was going to finish it anyways, actually. Like, I, I could have fully blocked and I didn't have to waste Fire Pot. But, uh... Yeah, that was stupid. I don't have to waste fire pot. I'm playing bad. I think I'll take a Wraith Form just to have it. Cursed Ectoplasm. I'll take the Ectoplasm just for the Energy Relic. I hate not having gold, but you know. But you know. That's weird. I've never really seen a path that ends like that. All the way on the left. Kind of kind of berserk. Uh, kind of berserk. Kind of weird, rather. Let's go for the early shop and not hit the Thieves. Hopefully, hopefully. And we'll try to get a late Elite. Pretty, pr pretty good path, actually. We have decent AoE for this fight, but not... But not consistent, so... Like, I would need to get die to die and uh, something else on the same turn, and I don't have that. In fact, I'm actually lacking a lot of damage. And this might be a really hard fight for me, actually. Might be a hard fight. We have skewers. Skewer can knock one of them down. Knock this guy down. I need skewer again. I suppose this helps. And the knock is perfect. If they nerf reform, yep. Okay. Club and dagger. That's perfect. Who's the boss? The the champ. Like Bane's not bad for more damage, but yeah, we need we need stuff like cloak and dagger. So I, I can use the weak pot so we get alchemize. right but nah like if, it, if I do fear pot that's 15 times 4 it's 2 damage off but if I do die I die then it's lethal and again I'm doing these potions willy nilly because we have alchemized and that that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about that I think I, I like alchemized for that reason I think Double Noxious Fumes is probably enough scaling to kill the champ, but it's a little questionable, right? It's a little questionable, but we do have Wraith Form, so if we can happen to manage to hold on to Wraith Form, actually, I think Double Noxious Fumes is the worst way to kill the, the champ. I think, if anything, we want to get, like, hopefully try to get an Ice Cream for Skewer, maybe get some kind of scaling. If we get Noxious Fumes, maybe we can get the Catalyst. I think Piercing Wheel is probably really good just to have some kind of AoE block and multi-hit defense. Alongside Ori Calcum, so we play Piercing Will, Ori Calcum covers the rest. Yeah, I think I think double noxious swims anyways, but I, I do think it's really bad for the champ as a way to win. I think Caltrips is not bad. I do like the smooth stone. I kinda like toolbox as well. Toolbox can give us some decent value. I'm regret not taking the um piercing will. I think the champ is. I try to guess the champ is only. It's really easy actually, depending on the deck. I think Smooth Stone's really good. Yeah, I like it. It kind of negates or a little bit because it makes my regular defense just as good at this. But it makes. 
Like, it, it can allow me to block more with, like, dodge and roll and deflect and a lot of stuff. I mean, it's... It's not bad. It's really not bad. And I have enough gold that if I were to find, like, a kunai shuriken, I could afford it. So I, I kind of want to save my gold and look for one of the, like, a kunai shuriken. So I don't want to spend all my money. I'm going to do this and try to find one of those relics I'm talking about. Which means, like, I should remove and stuff like that. Or I could remove. But, like I said, I want to keep the gold for those relics. That's probably really stupid. Maybe I should just use my gold now and do, like, value for now. So since we just got the smooth stone, dodge and roll is better. And then I can go ahead and remove. And maybe even better than removing is get toolbox. <clears throat> I mean, I know I want to meet the thieves, but even if I meet the thieves, I can still get uh, the Kanai Shuriken. But I, again, I don't think that's a good thing to hold on to. So we'll do this and we can get toolbox. Impatience. You have no attack cards in your hand. Draw two cards. That's cool. It's not bad. Uh, they they did make some of the uh, colors cards. Some there's some colors cards that are not as good anymore. But there's also some goods that are even better. Like for instance, there is now like discovery is fantastic for one. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt. I might just do dexterity pot now. It's gonna save me life. It's gonna save me. The dexterity pot's gonna save me some life. Like, look at that. Like, look, look, look at the value of Akimaz right there. That I like that's something that's fantastic. I think Rayform is perfect because now Nocturne is just gonna scale up. So now we just win. Alright, let's, um, let's see how we're going to take care of this guy. Dodge and roll, again, is not bad block. Dagger spray is not bad AoE, but I think we have, we can duplicate a card in our deck. So they can basically give us another Noxious Humes, but that's like, three Noxious Humes is a little bit bad, right? So, uh, what we can do is we can duplicate Wraith Form, and we can use Wraith Form as a way to survive Execute Phase. That's not a very good strategy. We can duplicate the skewer, which is not that great. Not a great card to uh, duplicate. We can duplicate the alchemize again. That means I can just use like two potions. Like ideally, I could use two potions every fight, right? And then I could use these potions perhaps to get what I need for the champ, whether it be a dexterity pot or strength pots. And yeah, it does. Dodge roll counters. Yep, I know. Uh, double, triple noxious fumes is pretty, it's pretty bad, but if you think about it, against the champ, probably triple noxious fumes, if I get to play them, all of them, that's probably enough to get decent scaling against the champ. I guess probably enough. It is a huge loss of tempo, I agree. I think, uh, another cloak and dagger is always nice, but it's not upgraded. Something to be said about another neutralize, just to have more weaken in the deck, and then alongside heal hook, that's more extra damage. Um... Yeah, Rayform is tempting as well, but the thing about Rayform is that it's, it's a little bit nerfed, but for the most part, in hallway fights, like, this is going to last two turns, and then let's say you draw into the next Rayform, another two turns, and at that point, with no Noxious Tombs and everything else, you're going to win within those four turns. And if you're using on boss fights, you're going to hold on to them until they get value, so... I would do Fused Fumes as well. Yeah, like, I, I think Neutralize is really nice because you can keep stacking Weaken. We only have one source of Weaken in a 26-card deck, so that's another way to just keep applying Weaken to multiple targets. And that's going to be really useful. I like that. Um, I also like Noxious Tombs. Want to do a, a double uh, Alchemize? <laughs> double Alchemize? Fine. We'll do Double Alchemize, just for the memes. Although, I don't know if that's the best play, but we'll do it. For the memes.
I think uh, I've come to the conclusion because oh, I've I've done this before. Roman, thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime, buddy. Welcome, welcome to the germ pool. Thank you for the support. I've done this before, skeptical Jesus, and I've come to the conclusion that three noxious tombs is like the perfect threshold. And three noxious tombs is fantastic. The thing about noxious tombs, what's important though, is that you get a footwork, and once you get a footwork with some noxious tombs, it's it's you know bulletproof. Out. This way. Go. Stop. Shh. Three Noxious Tombs is like the, uh... Get my beanie in my hoodie? Okay, I'll get my beanie in the hoodie. I I'm coming. But that doesn't matter, because if you get, like... Wolf Cloak is a problem, yes, but, like, if you get, like, Footworks... The Dexterity is pretty good. If you can have, like, if you can have consistent, um... Consistent... Weaken, or maybe even, um, a malaise. You can, oh man, we're getting so many potions. It's crazy. So we can do dodge and roll again, or predator. Again, like, dodge and roll is pretty good, because we have the, uh, smooth stone. <laughs> it's gonna be a fourth dodge and roll. But with noxious shooms in our deck, and alchemize, I'm not opposed to it. There's also a predator for card draw. Fuck it, another dodge and roll. Let's see what skill pop we get. Bursts. Burst Cloak and Dagger, Storm of Steel. Uh, let's do Burst. Hey, thank you, Roman. Thank you, man. I'm glad you like the YouTube videos. Actually, seems again. Lol. Jesus. This is why we need weaken, man. Imagine if we had a double, double neutralized. The weaken would be so invaluable. But again, we knew that, but we took the double alchemize for the memes. But neutralized was better, obviously. This is 28 plus 15. I gotta do that. Yeah, potions, might as well use them, right? There's the footwork plus. Oh my. Oh, anchor. Yes, yes. I should probably upgrade these dodge and rolls. With footwork now, like, now that I got footwork plus with dodge and roll, these dodge and rolls are absolutely phenomenal. Deep breath twice. What is this? What is this? That transmutation was not worth. But oh, we knew that. So footwork is, yeah, it's something that's hard to, to like have too many of. Because even against the awakened one, you're, you're kind of counteracting his strength in with your dexterity game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, I, I played too many skills. I just got saved by deep breath. I just got saved by the bell. I got saved hardcore. Crippling Cloud Piercing Will. I think it, I guess I could take one piercing will. It's pretty good for the elites coming up because it could be good for slavers and it could also be good for a gremlin leader and it could also be good for the book of stabbing. But so was Crippling Cloud. Oh, I just realized I have to fight another fight. Oh, this is going to be juicy. This is going to be juicy, guys. Hold on to your horses for this one. Hold on to your hats, your belts, and everything else in between. Piercing will. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil.
Beer pot. So Wraith Former is probably pretty clutch, right? Do we want to do it? Nah, we don't. Attack motion though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, guys. Did you hold on to your hats and belts? Because now we have an elite coming up. And we have Nightmare. So Nightmare could be a way for me to actually win the champ. I think we can do like Nightmare on footwork or Wraith form. And something crazy could happen. I mean, Night Form is going to be kind of, of a curse just a little bit. Uh, we got to see if we can survive this, though. Let's, uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Artifacts. I can get rid of these two strikes in defense. That's fine with me. Because I think I have better two strikes in defense in my deck. Like dodge and roll. Double artifacts. Yikes. The Noctis can do a lot of work in this fight. So, definitely second action is worth it. So, Rayform right now will be clutch. There it is. And now we Rayform gives us two turns with Noctis scaling. It should be free. Now, this guy gives me a really good relic like Kunai Shuriken, and we win the game. Ruining through Dikihedron. Lol. Dodge and roll again. We just talked about how dodge and roll is like super good. Region pot? I guess we'll take it. Now I don't need to rest because I don't think we're gonna be taking that much damage against this guy. What's more important is that I can play the nightmare, I would say. I say that, but let's see. Region pot twice. What is this? Now, I don't want to be too, too much damage, right? Because it's important that... You gotta go, Chrissy. Take care. So, uh, I'll look at this out of the cycle, but what's important is that I try to... F I'm, I'm trying to see... Okay, I guess Noxious Tombs... See, Noxious Tombs is kind of a double-edged sword. Like, I'm playing them. And I've mentioned this before, but like, it, it can make it premature split. Mm, so we got Nightmare, Nightmare Cloak and Dagger, is that worth it? Is that the play? What about Nightmare Dodge and Roll instead? I, even th I don't even think that's that good. Mm, Nightmare Cloak and Dagger could be good. But that's going to give us consistent defense, but that's like not even that great. What's up, SD? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I could have done Nightmare Footwork. It's true, if I had Wally Plans. I don't know if, if I want to try to hold on to the Nightmare. What's up, Zero White? Welcome, man. I think Nightmare Cloak, if anything, I can agree. But I think Dodge and Roll is not bad either. Because it is like 12 effective block, especially for Execute Phase. Ah, uh, we'll get Nightmare Cloak and Dagger. That's fine. It's a block pot. That could be useful. I shouldn't be doing damage, actually. We just discussed this. Uh, we just discussed why we should let the poison stack up a little bit nice and high. I wish the artifact, uh, the alchemist would give me something like vulnerable po uh, vulnerable or something. We didn't get any vulnerable. Or like something like I can use the artifacts. Or we can use the artifact for the... Like right before we're about to change him onto the execute phase, we can use the artifacts to stop vulnerable and that would help us stay alive. So that's something I'm going to use artifact for. If so that can prevent vulnerable, then we're, we're golden. The artifact Wraith Form as well, it's true. That's something, that's something I can do. But I think... Well, it depends. If, if, I, if, I, if I'm going to avoid the vulnerable anyways on his thing, then... Then yeah, I, I can artifact Wraith Form. We'll see. So he's... Splitting, he's about to get split next turn, and he's not doing the vulnerable now, which is perfect, because now 
So now he's now he's gonna do this buff. So that means I am gonna be vulnerable actually for his. I am gonna be vulnerable for his execute. That sucks. But we might be dead actually. We might be dead. Uh, I could do raid form now. That's like a probably decent turn to get raid form and we artifact the raid form. I guess probably pretty decent turn to get raid form, right? That saves a lot of life. Saved a decent amount of life. And now we just have not to do scale. I mean, let Lox just scale, and yeah, he's pretty dead. Well, I mean, just, I'm not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet. This is not the right time to use because he's a he's mentality size anyway, so we'll just get it out of the cycle. Skewer's gonna be pretty clutch if we can get it. We gotta get a weaken now. Yeah, not getting the weaken sucks. But maybe Skewer's just better. I push for damage. I really need a weaken. We need to survive this and we win. We win next turn. GG. Okay, let's see who the boss is. Okay, we got Rayform, Rayform, Rayform Nightmare or Phantasm Killer. We got Double Nightmare or Double Rayform. What do we want? Uh, I, I think Double Nightmare can get Nutty. Nightmare could be another the Rayform anyways, right? So let's just do Crazy Nightmare deck. And now, depending on who the boss is, all right, so we obviously want Sozu. That makes Alchemize feel like crap, and we have two Alchemize in the deck. Feels bad. Now we can go super junky deck and say, you know what, we like the potions. Potions are our friends, and we get Wipey Statue alongside Double Alchemize. That's potentially three potions a, a fight. Wow, server's down. How was the expansion? Yeah, so the reason, this is why I wouldn't take the second Alchemize. I wouldn't do it for the memes. The second Alchemize makes the double, the Soju even worse. If you had one Alchemize, I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, Alchemize paid for itself. I'm happy with what it did. Take a Soju. I'm not worried. The Alchemize can exhaust itself. I have fifth energy. I'm not worried about playing Alchemize to exhaust itself. Um, but now that I have two Alchemize, I'm like, okay, Soju feels a little bit worse. So I'll be like, you know what? White Beast Statue, three potions. A fight potentially, and we have four energy already. Now five energy makes skewer a little bit better, and it makes nightmare combos a little bit easier. Potions all day, baby. Let's go. So it's a little bit of a meme deck, but we're still trying to win. And we're going against Dono and Deca. Okay, so Noxious Tombs is pretty good against Dono and Deca. We just got to make sure we survive their onslaught. But Noxious Tombs is pretty good against them. Going into battle? What do you mean? Okay, wait, how is the WoW expansion? I'm dedicating, the, I'm dedicating this uh, run to Skeptical Jesus. Because he doesn't like the Alchemize and potions. We got three potions of battle just to trigger him. You know, I'm going to Nightmare Alchemize just to trigger him some more. I'm really gonna give him the triggers. We're gonna search for some good stuff. I'm trying to give him the triggers for life. Yeah. Alright. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we'll keep that. Flavor of Flareon. Thanks, you, brother. Another weaken. You know, we need more weaken. So we only have like one thing of weaken. I'll take it. I actually need it. I wish I had double alchemize. I mean, double neutralize right over now. My voice a little bit low. Let me know if it's a little bit better now. It's probably a lot better now, but it's like right in my face. Give me your uh, neutralize. Hell yes. Is better? I 
After image footwork accuracy. Damn, son. Look at that. Alchemize became a footwork. And you said Alchemize was just bad. Alchemize just became a footwork. Nightmare Wraith for means like I just win the fight, right? Because it's like... They, they have enough noxious shrooms that I can I can just do Wraith for a couple times. Or at least do Wraith for now. And feel okay about it. It makes these guys stay alive, but... I can kill this guy and then maybe block the rest. That's what, 16... 27? Yeah, it's just a Wraith form. I kind of like that. I know, I know, I know you can't use a single thing as, as proof that a card is good, I know. I was, I was, I was just trolling. Um, I mean, I, I, I will, I'll keep playing with Alchemize and try to show you that, you know, Alchemize is actually very valuable on the silent. Especially in Act 2. Very valuable. Alchemize has done a lot of stuff for me throughout this, uh... So, Crippling Cow's not bad for the AoE weekend, and it gets rid of the artifacts on um, Thorner Deck. I kind of like it. Although, my deck's getting a little bit fat now. Oh, but Crippling Cow with, with that, with Sadistic Nature, is kind of nice. That's pretty nice. Alchemize, uh, Alchemize is very versatile. We can do Reform now and just like do like a heal hook just to end it faster. I kind of like that. It's a little silly, but I mean they're gonna die anyways to the poison easily. But I can do things like die to die, boom, make my life a bit easier. Cloak and dagger. Uh, we're gonna skip, but I, again, I feel like. Explosive pot. So that would have been good for this fight. I should have maybe thought about that. We have Nightmare Noxious Fumes. That's not bad. The thing is, am I going to survive? Okay, we'll, we'll do it. But am I going to survive these little girls? Let's find out. Let's purity these. Let's see what happens. Going well, Vanessa. How you doing? Um, I feel like the mic's a little too much in my face, guys. There we go. Um, I do want to try, I want to play Noxious Shrooms, but I also want to try to look for, like, a Ray form. Just, hmm. Let's see. It's going to be a rough one. It's going to be a rough one, guys. Probably choose Fear Pot actually. But if I can get Nightmare Noxious Dreams on Donor Decca, I think I, that 12 poison a turn is more than enough to win the Donor Decca fight. That's for the weekend. Yeah, 12 poison turn is so good for Donor Decca, so I, I'm, I might try to get that. Shit, man. This guy's insane. Okay, maybe I should just do Sarah Pot. I should have just done Fear Pot a long time ago, maybe. 
should have done that a long time ago. If we have to rest, we have to rest. Let's see what we get. Eh, that's not bad. We need, we need wallet plants. You know, dash is not bad. But, nah, I think it makes... It looks like Nightmare's gonna have to save our ass, so it makes our deck less likely to have that happen. Let's do this, and that, let's see what we get. We could do Nightmare Alchemize. I could do Nightmare Alchemize and see what I get. I'm really pushing it. I'm really pushing these potions, man. Big sturdy pot. Oh! I, I can save that. Oh, Zozen, thanks for the thanks for the Twitch Prime for two months in a row. Back, well, welcome back, dude. Thank you for the support. Um, welcome to the Drumple, buddy. I'm back to the Drumple. Let's kill this guy. Let me take one damage. We we'll take two damage. I could have done Exterior Prime prevent that, but whatever. Uh, get the Weaken. I'll use Exterior Prime anyways. I should have done it earlier. Might be. More Akamas in the deck, right? We didn't get to play all of them. You enjoy this potion run? I'm liking it too, man. We have, we have more in the deck. I didn't get to play. I had like two of them. It's okay. We got Wipey Statue. Catalyst. You know, Catalyst can be pretty good to get some ramp up, ramp up the damage against uh, Dona and Deca. Now, I can also do Nightmare Catalyst now, and that's actually like a legitimate way to kind of like I might even look for I might even look for um Corp explosion. Corp explosion would be fantastic now. Uh, what is never gonna be good for here? I feel like Nightmare's not very good here. I could have never the heal hook, that's true. I'm not looking forward, you know, I'm gonna artifact this guy. I'm not looking forward to this. Nightmare dodge and roll. Well, I like the crippling cloud for the weekend, but then nightmare. Eh. Nightmare's awkward about Wallet Plants. Okay. We do Wraith Form now, but that's... We can do Artifact Wraith Form now, but then we can't do Noxious Fumes. I'll th we'll take damage then. Just a little bit. We can always rest, it's fine. Catalyst now, that's fine. That's more than enough. I can I can survive long enough, right? Because we have rape from the deck, so we can survive. He says reluctantly. Shit, man. If this is any indicator of Dono Deca fight, we're in trouble. Because, like, Dono Deca is even harder than this. So, if this is any indicator, we're in trouble. But, again, we need to get, like, a really good nightmare for Dono Deca. Oh my god, how many nightmares are we doing? Jesus Christ, three nightmares. Let's go. Not even thinking about it. We're not even fucking thinking about it. We're doing it. I might have to rest again. Okay. Now, that gives us a better chance to nightmare a good target, you know, on the, on the plus side. 
Like Nightmare Alchemize again. I could have done it. The bomb. You know what? That's not bad in this fight, is it not? That's not bad at all. The bomb with dotted eye is fantastic, actually. But I don't want to take damage. No more damage. There might be too much. No, it's okay. We're memeing. We got this. Double fire pot. Shit. Now I can do double fire pot and well okay we have 22 block they're doing shit all right we're taking damage again but the bombs come through I was gonna kill the guy in the middle, preferably with like a, po a, po a fire pot if I need to. And yeah, why not? Fuck it. Skip. I'm gonna skip the elites. Oh, give up one of the alchemizers and get full life. Or give up one of the nightmares. That's why we took three nightmares. All right. Well, I should give it up. Give up the night alchemizer. Oh, that's good enough. Secret technique. We could do Catalyst now. Catalyst not bad, right? Man, we really need um So, Nightmare doesn't keep the, the cost, does it? I, actually, I think it does. I think Nightmare does keep the cost of the card. If I remember correctly. The Brutic Decahedron, that's crazy. I can't maintain it, though. But is it better than just full block? Well, the thing is, it's better not to block at all, because then I will get... You know, it's better not to block at all. Or recalc him. Jesus Christ, the healing is insane. We can do Nightmare again. We can do Nightmare and Alchemize for free. We might do that. Poison pot. Alright, we're taking a little bit of damage, but that's okay. What do we got? I'm vulnerable. Uh, thorns. That's not bad for the. Maybe double thorns against Dodo and Deca. That could be okay. I'm thinking about it. Raid from just preserve one life? I don't think so. Maybe I should have done raid form. Because now I would have not taken this damage. I should have done raid form. Because I should have I known that I was about to get the, um, the vulnerable. Damn, right from what's the play. The orange versus weak pot. Ooh, terror's not bad, right? Now, the thing about weak pot, is that better than thorns? It could it could save my life against Dono Deca. Give me a heal. Shit. Got nightmare right from we got Night Nightmare Notch seems pretty good. Because poison is great on this guy. Hmm. Let's put forth that. No, 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 no. Hmm. Wish it was cheaper. Reach the bottom of the deck. I don't know if I'm gonna reach it in time. Noxium is a little slow for this fight, but you know what? Shit, this is gonna be painful, guys.
real painful. Where's the weekend when you need it? Oh fuck, we're even we're low on life going into Dona and Deca. This is Monk IS, dude. This is Monk IS. Shit. I don't think we, I think we needed life to survive this fight. This is a little bit like, hmm. Unless we get a really clutch nightmare. Metamorphosis huh. wasn't bad. Not the greatest first, uh... Not the greatest first turn. Oh shit. This is bad. I don't have enough life to sustain this. Before I get that out of the cycle. That's nightmare raid form, but that would kill me. So I could do nightmare raid form and then dodge and roll, and then we just have to like let raid form carry us somehow. I don't know if we can survive. I can do raid form now and save all this life. I do raid form now, I save this life, but then I don't have any more wraith form, and then I would have to try to get nightmare footwork to save me. Right? Try to get footwork saving. Like if if I do raid form now, I save all this life, but if I nightmare the wraith form, then I could potentially live a lot longer. I think playing Wraith from straight up is bad because then in two turns, I'm, what am I going to do, right? Because in two turns, I I don't get like a Wraith form on, if I don't get Nightmare on the footwork or like something else valuable from Alchemize, then I'm just dead anyways, right? So I think I got to go for the long run and do Nightmare Wraith form. And I'll take, I'll be very long life, but maybe I can survive. I think Wraith got so nerfed and I should have upgraded it. No, I won't die next turn if I reform now. Because reform blasts next turn as well. Plain. Yeah, well, it's so clutch. Uh, I think I have to sack, uh, take that risk, guys, and be low in life. Because if I do reform now, I'm going to die in long run. So I'm going to take that risk. Um, it, it's, it's really depending on the draws you get, man. So that's nightmare, that's nightmare footwork, and that could be so clutch. If only I could play that, you know what I mean? So if, in hindsight, if I did Wraith Form last turn, I'd do nightmare footwork, and then I, uh, shit, in hindsight, I do nightmare footwork, and then footwork would just carry my ass. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Ah, uh, that sucks, man. So if I did reform last turn, then I could do Nightmare Footwork now. And then... I play all the Footworks and maybe we win. I don't know. Well, if we die, if we're gonna die, I'll do it for science to see what happens. Because that would've been... I mean, I, I mean, it's just not... I did the play that, that wasn't be good. I can't, I can't assume that that's gonna happen. I can't assume that. I don't even want to play footwork because I still want to look, try to get Nightmare footwork. But the thing is, like, this Ray from only last two turns, so I would have to draw into this. First, I have to draw the next two turns, right? And then I would have to shuffle the deck and get Ray from again, or find that it's just, just too hard. Well, again, I did go Mimi, guys. I did take a lot of Nightmare and Alchemize, right? This deck could have been better. It's not over yet. No, it's for sure not over yet. I do gotta play Ray Form, right? Just to survive. 
All right, I'll do artifacts. Um, I don't even want to pay footwork though. That's the thing. But maybe, for, maybe I do play forward. Maybe, maybe, maybe just having this little dexterity will save me. I think I should just play it too, honestly, because like, I think there's very little chance I'm gonna draw into it. And maybe if I can defend just a little bit more, I'm trying to scale up a little bit of Noxious Fumes. Might have a chance. Like if I do Skewer now, we're getting a chance. Dodger Roll is probably better for next turn, but again, I gotta maximize damage. And there's a chance that we can probably do this. Need to get a weaken here. Black pot's not bad. Black pot's 12. Exactly enough defense, guys. Now, if this ends up working out, like, I'm gonna lose my shit. Ah, can you imagine if I had a weaken? If I had a weaken, I could draw on again and then draw into, like, skewer or some shit. And with fire pot, like imagine I draw into the skewer or some shit. I want to do for science just to see. I think this deck can't win. So the play here was the nightmare footwork. I don't even know if that's gonna win though. I got the weaken, but isn't it better to weaken this? So. So this guy's going next turn, but I have Ray from him. So then the turn after, this guy's going to be attacking. So, but in two turns, the weekend's not going to matter anyway. So let's just do damage. And then on the turn, I still have to play forward multiple times. Is that good enough? I mean... It's a lot of it's a lot of dexterity. I think it buys me time with Noxious Fumes, to be honest. It's a lot of dexterity. There's a shit ton of dexterity. Now we just need Catalyst. Now, is it important to weaken? This guy, I don't need to weaken because he's not... Like, I have full block anyways, right? But if I want to get rid of the daze, then I could just weaken him now and get some damage. Because we have dodge more for next turn. There's a big chance we're going to have enough block. And then I, I, then I don't have to... Um... Oh, I should have played Survivor instead of that. Fuck. Oh shit, did I actually get me killed? That almost got me killed. I live with 1 HP. That shit almost got me killed, dude. Not playing the survivor? Almost got me killed. So skewer costs 1 from Metamorphosis. That's kind of a troll. That guy's dead. Shit, that's something that actually works, guys. Wow, guys. Wow, you guys were right. You guys were fucking right, dude. You f oh my god, you play the Wraith form just to live, save some life, and we get lucky with Nightmare Footwork. Obviously, we couldn't predict that, but damn. Despite all that, it works. I guess I should have looked at my deck and said, okay, I have 15 cards in my deck, right? Uh, there's a decent chance that I'm going to draw into Nightmare Footwork. I mean, I don't know. I, didn't, I don't think that was something I can calculate. It's easy to see hindsight, right?